Let me ask you one question, John, because I got some input from folks who said, you know, there are some there are some interesting issues here, and one of them I want to ask you about, for example, was um, a VOA instance where uh, you had a very interesting, in the Mandarin service, uh, interview uh, with a billionaire Chinese businessman who has tried to blow the whistle on corruption in the Chinese government, very controversial character there, Guo Wengui is his name, and um, you had an interview ongoing with him. He was on for an hour, and then people were told to, to, to stop the interview. And there was some feeling that that was pressure from the Chinese government coming through to you, or to not to you, but to, to others in the chain of command. Uh, what's your response to that? How responsive are you to those outside pressures in tailoring your coverage of this complicated world? Well, there was no pressure from the Chinese government to cause anything to change, and will there? And there never will be. Um, well, first of all, I would say an hour of live TV isn't nothing. Uh, it's pretty significant. And then I would say CNN, it's everything. <laughs> and then I would say uh, I'm still gathering facts on this situation, but in terms of just the tenets of good journalism. Um, it was discussed prior to this interview that it would be important to perhaps not do three hours live, perhaps do an hour live and then do fact gathering, do the interview on tape for the remaining two hours, and then do some verification of the information, actually do some reporting. Mm -hmm. And somewhere between the uh, early agreement to do that and the actual interview, something got lost, and I have to find out what that is. But as a matter of principle, I would prefer that rather than giving a mic for three hours on controversial information that perhaps we would limit it to an hour and then gather, fact gather the other information and report on it and find out if we can verify any of it. I think one of the things that is a heightened challenge for everybody in this world is just how live in real time everything is.